What it is, people, it's your boy, the Bad Wolf. I apologize about the lighting here. Let me see if I can fix that. Whoa, hello. All right, and there we go, maybe. Bring it down now. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf, once again, bringing you guys more information because you guys, well, still loving this stuff, so let's keep it. Rip it, rock it, and roll it, right? <clears throat> All right, so first of all, this particular video is going to be about what's known as the opt-out or the request to withhold name and address. So now before I get to this little beautiful form here, um, I just want to let everybody know, first of all, thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. It always means a lot to me. We are climbing in numbers. Once again, we're only doing this organically. Um, we are not being pushed. If anything, we might be having some of our information suppressed. Um, and once again, I have seen that they have pulled one or two videos. Um, so we will try to work around that to ensure that you guys continue to get the information. Um, I do have a Patreon set up um, as well under, I think it's James C. Lovett. Um, I will be putting a lot of videos up there soon. Uh, but bear with me right now. It's just uh, to have a beginnings of a backup channel. As well, we have our current backup channel on YouTube, though, and that's under the Bad Wolf Media. We almost have a 1,000 people. Once we get there, I'm going to spend some time over on that channel as well, and I'm going to make sure that we talk about everything over there. This one is this channel is just specifically for your rights and freedoms. The other one is going to be about everything, no holds barred. Um, we're going to talk about everything, anything, all right? Um, we, well, at least nothing that's going to get us in trouble. So, uh, but we're going to graze that line a little. So uh, anyway, uh, also keep in mind, guys, um, when you want to get started on any of this information, be sure to go to blacksite32.com. That's where you can set up the consultations. That's where you can make any donations. Um, you can, uh, there's lots of downloadable uh, free files. There's some paid files. There are also um, offers and discounts to help you in your normal daily life, uh, as well as information on a little bit of everything that we talk about on the channel. So, uh, with that, also keep in mind, guys, I hate to be rude, but um, if you guys happen to, you know, either get, like I said, my number through a consultation or whatever else, um, or even through one of the groups, or some kind of way to directly contact me, understand that, one, I'm busy all the time, okay, studying and learning these things and trying these things before I bring them to you. That's why there's a difference between somebody who's making the information and other channels who are copying my information and whatever else, which there's no disrespect. Um, at least give me a little credit uh, for these things, but it is what it is. Uh, so just understand that uh, if you have contacted me for consultation and I don't didn't get back to you, either I am busy or I didn't see it. You know, that's just that plain. So don't be rude. Um, and if you guys do contact me uh, without me letting you know it's okay to contact me through like a private means or whatever else, uh, just understand that I do have a private side, um, duh, and um, I don't have to respond in my private capacity, nor my business capacity if I don't want to. Um, so don't take that personally. It's just, this is this just the fact, okay? A lot of people, oh, he, the wolf must be busy. He's, he's booked up. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I see it. Sometimes I don't. So anyway, let's get started with the video. Thank you guys for your support. Hope you guys can understand this information. It's nothing that you wouldn't want for you. Um, and it is just me and sometimes one other person helping. Um, and so it, uh, it's, it is what it is. All right, anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. So <clears throat> in pursuit on the path of trying to be more private, um, I came across a little something, all right? So whatever state you're in, okay, you should have a DOT, a Department of Transportation, for your particular uh, state, that you live within, meaning on paper. All right, so if you type in the name of your state and you type in the words opt, O-P-T, out, O-U-T, and either DMV or D-O-T, you're going to come up to an interesting page. I have mine set up over here, um, but it's basically everything here. So I'm going to, looks like it has all the same information. All right, I'm just going to read it to you from here. So after I typed in my state, opt out, DMV, or DOT, it says, withholds your name and address, okay? So it says, under your state's law, the Department of Transportation Division of Motor Vehicles must provide information from its records to requesters. 
If you do not want your name and address included in the request for 10 or more records, so this is going to remove your information from bulk companies who want your information. So check it out. And here's how you have to play this. So what they're saying here is if they ask for your information on a directly individual person basis, they will still give it to them. Okay, specifically, but if they're doing a bulk search, which most of them typically when they pull files, they're going to do 10 or more because they want to make it worth their time. All right. So hypothetically, educational information only from your favorite non-belligerent, non-combatant treaty with the United States and a neutral party from his own nation as a diplomat, <clears throat> not to be construed with a regular person, but a private person or a natural person, um, or an idiota, which in Black Law's dictionary means a private person, one not clothed in office, not a state nor federal employee. Um, so when they're pulling your information, they're going to pull yours, the guy before you, the girls after you, and whatever else. It's a lump sum. Let's get all these people's information, blah, blah, blah. Well, this will stop those agencies. But what agencies? Well, let's take a look. Okay, by requesting completed your re your return and returning the opt out form. So guess what's going to be done today? And uh, this is okay. So then it it switches over to this page now. So it says certain requesters are authorized by law to receive your name and address upon request, provided such information is used for the purpose of one, writing and renewing insurance policies and related underwriting. Two, billing and paying of insurance claims. Three, vehicle safety recalls, notification programs, and law enforcement activities. Okay. So though they are supposed to provide them, this is going to stop any of those places that are requesting you and 10 or more people. So if they're bulk collecting, no good. If they're doing it to individual, then yes, they can still get your information, okay, per statutes and your state within on paper codes. So this, a request to withhold a name is limited to individuals. If a vehicle is jointly owned, only the owner making the request is affected. Once a request is processed, the designation will remain in effect until the person asks the department to remove it or reverse it. Mail it to your Department of Transportation if you have any additional questions, blah, 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 to request this. So what does it ask for? First name, last name, middle name, birth date, residence, driver's license if applicable, incomplete or ineligible forms will not be processed, but this is done for free. So it says check all that apply at the bottom. I have moved. Please record my new address as shown above. Two, I do not want my name and address provided from the Department of Transportation, driver, or vehicle. Or previously requested withholding of my name and address, but I now want to reverse the designation. So, that's it. You guys want to move more into the private, it's all about making private moves. So here's one of the ways. And as we discover more ways, we will bring them to you guys. So tuck and roll, hide, duck and cover. All right, so that's about it, guys. Uh, that's how you look up the information. And as a last tidbit, if you type in just the terms opt out and your particular state, on paper that you may or may not reside within um, and then do a search you might find a lot of other programs and things that you can opt out of for educational reasons and purposes only <laughs> private <laughs> All right, guys, get out of here. Go have a great day. The weather is shining, so you can finally enjoy the sea. Got a little bit of a tan started. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with the whole weather 
<coughs> modification. <coughs> Excuse me. Something stroke. But uh, it would be nice to see the sun again. So keep faith in your mind, guys. Use that positive energy that jude you to make the sun come out. All right. Remember, the old Native Americans in the old days, they used to do a powwow to make the make the rain happen and the sun come out. Because why? There's a whole lot more power within your thought than you know. That might be something some people out there want to suppress. But who am I? I'm just a madman in a box who sometimes wears the assumed name of a bad wolf. What do I know? Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.